I need to know her. And then once I know her, then I can also understand the tracking of the movie and whether or not the script matches what I feel like would be an honest thing that she would do. So I broke it into little pieces. And first was really getting to know her before the kidnapping at 17. I wrote three journals. I wrote one from her perspective at maybe like 10, mm. one at like 14, and another one at like 16, 17, so right before she would have been abducted. And that helped me remind myself of that sort of the hopes, the dreams, the 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 self-awareness, the body image issues, all of those things that she would have been going through at that mm. time. What college was she going to go to? And then I spoke with the trauma specialist about uh, what would happen if psychologically if you're kidnapped and when you're trapped in a space and then when you're there for seven years. It's very different if we were dealing with the initial entrapment or being there a week. Mm -hmm. Something happens to the mind when you're there for that long where it sort of shuts off awarenesses and it becomes um, okay with it because it has to so that it survives. Otherwise, all of the physical and mental abuse would be too overwhelming for the body and she wouldn't want to survive and the body wants to survive. Then I had to speak with a doctor about lack of vitamin D, the mm -hmm. lack of nourishment from they're really only eating cereal and bread, a little bit of milk, maybe the occasional egg. I mean, it's what, what whatever the captor is bringing in, which is just very few sparse items. And so I went on a very rigid diet with the help of a nutritionist as mm -hmm. to do very small amounts of food throughout the day that would sort of get me into the similar mindset that she would have been in. And um, I also felt like if she was in that space, one thing that she could do with all of this time and what are you gonna do with it was get her aggression out through maybe doing push-ups, through wrestling with her kid, through running around, trying to make the most of that space. So I ended mm -hmm. up putting on 15 pounds of muscle for the role in order to be able to handle carrying that boy all the time and like being rough with him. So when you do all that, does that, when you get onto set, the idea is to just let that go intellectually, that you did all that, that you have? Yeah, exactly. So the, the idea would be that you spend all this time knowing it so well that it's just in you so that you can forget about it. Because otherwise it, it's it's too much. You're like, you know, doing this. It, it you, You'll forget. And instead of being present and listening to Jacob, who's playing Jack, you're thinking, oh, am I remembering that my wrist hurts and so I can't do that? Or um, I should be feeling, or my eyes should be like this, or I'm tired, or the lack of vitamin D. Whatever it is that's going on through my head, you just can't. You just want to have a clear perspective. You want to know her and inhabit her so well that you can just play within the space. Mm -hmm. 